Retail is committed to providing safe and reliable energy service to our customers. Today, we're going to demonstrate an innovative natural gas technique called Main Live Live Insertion, which is used primarily in our Massachusetts service territory. Live insertion can increase gas capacity in an area, upgrade pipelines with state-of-the-art, high-density plastic pipe, and do so with less disruption to traffic and the community. It works well in densely populated residential zones, where it may be difficult to replace a gas main with traditional methods. So, 10 years ago, prior to us uh, implementing live insertion, what we would have done was direct bury this gas main. It's very intrusive. You would dig up the whole street, you'd have to shut the road down so traffic can't get by. You'd have upset customers. By doing the live insertion, it's cleaner. You don't have all the dust that you would have from direct bearing a gas main. I can install seven, 800 feet of pipe within 20 minutes, where something like that would take me you know, three or four days. This new technology allows more durable plastic pipe to be inserted into existing cast iron pipe while gas is still flowing through it. The pipe is upgraded to allow the system to operate at a higher pressure, modernizing the infrastructure. It also avoids shutting off nearby customers while the work is being done. So this year our program will be upgrading approximately 200 gas services from low to high pressure. Let's go through the process and see exactly how this is done. The first thing to consider when working in the field is safety. To ensure the safety of your customers, contractors and employees, several steps are taken. Each person on the site must wear personal protective equipment, PPE. These include a hard hat, protective glasses, gloves, safety toe shoes, high visibility reflective vest, proper daily wear clothing made of natural fiber. If the worker will be working in the ground, some additional equipment is required. Fire retardant suit, hearing protection if required, O2 monitors, in addition to the PPE, proper static mitigation must be conducted. Safety inspectors are always on hand to inspect equipment like fire extinguishers and to ensure safety procedures are being followed. To safeguard that the traffic continues to flow safely and that the workers avoid accidents, a police detail, traffic cones, and sometimes sidewalk barriers are used. Now that we've reviewed the safety necessities, it's time to go through the mainline insertion procedure. The first step is to locate the gas main. Using pipe and cable locators, trained dig safe personnel identify where underground services are located and mark the pavement. This helps to prevent damage to existing buried services like sewer, water, and gas mains. A backhoe and shovel are used to unearth the pipe. Now that the pipe has been uncovered, it has to be prepared for the live insertion process and a bypass is installed. Part of preparing the site is making sure we have the right equipment. We'll need a snap cutter, pushing machine, bland bag, insertion seal foam, and tow head. Okay, now that we've checked our equipment, the first step will be putting a bypass in place. A hole is drilled into the main. This is called tapping. And a stopper bag is quickly pushed through the opening and inflated to stop the gas. This assembly includes a gauge that helps the technicians monitor pressure levels up and downstream of the work area. At this point, static levels are also checked and static prevention spray is applied to the area. Pressure levels are carefully monitored and a soapy solution is applied to check for leaks. The same process is repeated on the opposite end of the cast iron pipe and a high density polyethylene HDPE, pipe system bypass is temporarily installed so that natural gas service can continue. The inactive section of cast iron can now be removed. The section that will be cut is cleaned by a device called a knuckler to ensure that the cutting tool can create a clean cut. Even though the stopper bag and bypass are stopping the gas at this point, Foam is added to the inactive section as an additional barrier of protection to prevent gas from escaping. The foam hardens quickly, and once it's fully cured, the cutter can be connected and the pipe cut. This is done with a tool called a snap cutter. Then, the insertion gland is attached, and this makes the cast iron ready for insertion. The next component is placing the pushing machine into the trench. While that's happening inside the trench, Outside, the new plastic pipe is prepared for insertion. The leader section of pipe is fused with the roll of HDPE on the spool. 
This spooled pipe has been measured and marked to indicate where the technician should stop. The seam is shaved and checked for smoothness to prevent snags during the process. A tow head is installed on the end. This is used to connect the tracer wire and helps keep the nose of the plastic down while being inserted. The tracer wire is used to help locate the pipe after it's underground. Now that the trench and pipe are prepped, the crew can move on to insertion. The goal with insertion is to feed the pipe through the existing cast iron main to the next pickup area, which has been carefully mapped out. The pipe is fed through the pushing machine into the insertion gland, which has a membrane to prevent the escape of gas, and into the cast iron pipe. After a measurement is taken to confirm the setup is correct, the machine pushes the pipe continuously until the destination is reached. Sometimes the progress of the pipe can be hindered by equipment obstructions such as valves, drips, tees, and elbows. If an obstruction occurs, then the crew will need to determine the location of the HDPE pipe and excavate at that location, set up a bypass, foam off the section of main, and cut out that section and set up for insertion all over again. Once the pipe reaches the next receiving hole, it is excavated and the whole process begins again. Not only does this process allow service to continue to our current natural gas customers, it's a great opportunity for new customers to convert to gas while we're working in the area. We hope you've enjoyed learning about this new technique that helps us continue our mission of delivering energy to our customers and communities safely and reliably.